All right, Fred, let's check back in with you out there in Easley. All right, thank you so much, Taylor. We are in Easley, of course, a city with a well-preserved history. You can see it in the parks and the museums and right here across the downtown area. 7 News' Stephen Ruffing has more. Easley's history starts with railroads. It was originally named the Atlanta Charlotte Airline, and the railway wasn't even supposed to run through Easley. Some people that lived in now the city of Easley volunteered to build a depot if they would run it through Easley, so they did. The railroad was instrumental to the cotton mills coming to this area. Historians say the names of the individuals who brought in the mills were influential throughout the area. In 1900, uh, Mr. Gear from Greenville opened Easley Mill. One of the investors in Easley Mill was uh, William Milliken Haggard. Mr. Haggard built a mill, Glenwood Mill. His son-in-law, uh, Mr. Haggard, suggested that he build a mill on the west side of Easley, and that was Alice Mills. Alice Mills eventually sold and became Alice Manufacturing, where the logo has a unique story that involves a man named Walt Disney. When the McKissicks had it, Mr. McKissick wrote a letter to Walt Disney asking for permission to borrow the logo of Alice in Wonderland for their product. And Walt Disney wrote back and said, that's fine by him. No money transpired, no agreements. That's just a verbal handshake. The Easley Area Museum holds a lot of the history of the mills. Alice Manufacturing donated a loom which was a working loom when it, when it came here, and, and it's, it's on display to, to show people how cloth was made. In the 90s, a lot of those mills started to close their doors, but most of the workers stayed. The people were energetic, the people were hardworking. Most of the mills sold the property to, to the, uh, the workers who were renting it prior to that. Most of the mill villages still exist. If you ask anyone, they'll say Easley is very familiar with growth, and a lot of the things that helped build it to what it is today are being transformed to help welcome all of those new people coming in. Easley Mill has now been converted to lofts. Silos is another uh, location that was closed, uh, I think, in the 70s. It's been reopened now as restaurant and, and activities. I think there's five different businesses there now. The mayor says growth is good for the city. Our downtown is thriving because of our new people coming here. We hope we've got something for everybody. That goes for the ones who've been here their whole life or the newcomers. It's a place with a rich history and an even brighter future. In Easley, Stephen Ruffing, 7 News. And you can learn much more about Easley just by going to our website. That's WSPA.com. Taylor, if you know Easley at all, obviously you got 123, the road that takes you from Greenville to Clemson. And of course, that's a huge commercial area. But we're off Main Street here in the downtown area, which, as you heard in Stephen's piece, is thriving. And we're going to be bringing you a lot of that throughout the morning right here from the downtown area. Fred, and I'm glad you mentioned that road. It is so easy to get from Greenville too easily, so hopefully people will check it out this weekend. Thank you, Fred.